Okay, let's try this geometry question here. It says determine four other angles that are equal to x. But we better get straight here that a, b, and d, and c lie on the outside of the circle. They tell us that this fdg and, and aeg are parallel. They tell us o is the center, so dob is a diameter. And they tell us that dc D, C is perpendicular to this G, C here. That's, that's 90 degrees. Four other angles equal to X. Well, my first one was that this angle here, D, C, E, must be X. Angles in the same segment, A, D, here. Then I figured this must be X because of alternate angles. These are two parallel lines, so that kind of makes sense. Then I figured, oh, F, D, A must be X because of the tan chord theorem, the ang angle between a tangent and a chord equal to this angle in the alternate segment. And that story works here. You've got a triangle here. Here's an angle between a tangent and this chord. It should equal that angle there. Well, there's everything written out. What I just said, DCA is X, angles in the same segment. GDC is X, alternate angles. State the parallel lines. FDA is equal to x tan chord theorem and dae dae is equal to x the tan chord theorem well there is all your angles equal to x now it says prove that bd prove that bd bisects ac well hey that's a line from the center if we could prove that it, this angle here was 90 degrees we'd have it so that's what we have to do oh let's just take a look at that gde but GDE, we know that it's 90 degrees because a tangent is perpendicular to the radius. This is a diameter here, so it's perpendicular to the radius. But we've got parallel lines, so angle DEC must be 90 degrees because of co-interior angles, because D, it should say DG is parallel to EC. That should be DG is parallel to EC, not DB. But now we know that we've got a perpendicular line that's going from the center. That means BD bisects AC because a perpendicular line from the center. That should be DG is parallel to EC. Okay, is DG, is D, is, oh, sorry, is GC, would this be a tangent line to a, a circle? Oh, sorry. Yeah, is GC, oh, GC, would this be a tangent line to this diameter here? Well, I'm thinking, oh, to a circle with a diameter DC. I think maybe it would make sense because a tangent should be perpendicular to the radius, and that would fit there. GC would be tangent to the circle with a diameter of DC because um, GC is perpendicular to what would be the radius. So therefore, it must be a tangent to, to, I think, that diameter. I'd agree with that. That's how I would say that that is sort of true. Okay, so there you go.